Because, Rena, these measurements on this project are looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, I've, I've gathered them all. We've got our waste percentage in there. Everything looks good, the, the drawing and, and, and all that. Um, what, what can we do with RoofSnap now that we have all of the measurements correctly calculated? So with RoofSnap, there is a pretty robust estimating platform as well. We can generate an estimate and present that to the customer as kind of the next step. I feel like I knew that was going to be the answer. <laughs> uh, when we go here into the estimates um, tile from the project, it's going to show us option one. And option one is going to include any steep slope uh, charges that are automatically included um, and any pins that we've included on the roof. In this case, that steep charge on 612, because that's how our office is set up, mm -hmm. yours can be set up with any steep charges that you deem fit. So from here, in this option one, we can go ahead and we can build a, an estimate one item at a time. Now there is another option. We don't have to build it one item at a time, but I want you to have a look at just what that's going to entail when you add one item at a time. So let's start with shingles. I'm going to filter all of our materials just by shingles. And uh, you know, let's grab an architectural shingle. All right. And pick a color. And you see it selected that. Now we don't have to hit the done button until we've added all the materials. So let's jump over to the materials filter. And we can begin to add nails. We can add ridge vent, or excuse me, hip and ridge. And as we scroll down through, we can add starter. And I'm just picking them at random. And we have many pages of projects here. So you click on the left and right button in the bottom right-hand corner there to navigate to the next page. Mm -hmm. We have underlayments. So I'll grab an underlayment as well. And then let's navigate over to services here, this services filter. And let's say we're going to remove and dispose some architectural shingles. And we've got steep charges, and we can continue to navigate onto the next page where we're going to see some second story charges as well. Wonderful. And you know, another nice way to kind of see all these materials, uh, if you kind of know what you're going to install, you can use that search function. And yeah, absolutely. Type in. So let's say we need um, a ridge vent. We can type in the word ridge, and it's going to filter down. It's going to show us some architectural shingles that have the word ridge in it, oak ridge, uh, hip and ridge. Yeah. But if we scroll down, there's the ridge vent that we're looking for. Perfect. So let's go ahead and grab that ridge vent. Now all the items that we've selected will have a little check next to them, and we can click on the done button. And that's going to load up all those items. Now this may not be a complete estimate, but it's complete for our purposes. We have a $10,000 estimate here, and it is accounting, of course, for taxes. We have a tax percentage set up in our account settings. Um, but Katrina, you know, maybe I'm not just going to give my customer one option. Mm -hmm. You know, we have many RoofSnap customers who want to give their customers multiple options, maybe an architectural option, an impact resistant option, and then a designer option. Yeah. So this would be the architectural option. Well, let's, let's go back out to the project and go back into the estimate screen here. We can see we've got this option number one. Let's go ahead and rename it. So I'm going to click on this little pencil icon here. And let's call it architectural. <laughs> Is that right? You got it. And click on save. You can call that whatever you want. But let's go ahead and, and give them another option. So this time we're going to hit the plus button to build a new estimate. But instead of creating it one item at a time, I'm going to load in a template. Great. RoofSnap has the ability to create, manage, and use templates to define lots of different types of roofing systems that you might sell to your customers. So let's grab a impact resistant option, this certainty landmark impact resistant. And we'll just call that impact resistant. Click on the create button. And this was much easier. We predetermined all of the items in this package. Mm -hmm. So they all loaded automatically. Now, right. if there's any, um, let's see, if there's any item in here with a zero quantity on the footage. It's like that closed valley. We didn't have any valleys on this there particular it is. Yep. roof. No valleys on this roof. So you may have to delete one item or so, depending upon the style of roof that you're adding the template to. But that's very easy. We can just quickly delete that item, and it's gone. Wonderful. And we have the price for that system. We can pick that color option for this shingle, and that's what will show up on the, uh, on the option as well. Right, and to do that, you're going to click on this little 
paint palette icon. Yeah. And that'll give you the ability to go in and pick that color for that shingle. Perfect. Now let's do that one more time. Okay. Let's go back to estimates here. And let's go ahead and click on the plus button one more time. And I'm gonna go ahead and name it first. Let's call it designer. And then let's look for a designer option. Let's say GAF slate line. Sounds good. Click on the create button. The exact same thing is going to happen here. It's going to load in a bunch of items. You're going to pick your color, just like before. And then as you scroll down, you're going to look for any items with a zero quantity on the measurement, which that valley, I think, is the only one. Mm -hmm. Delete that guy. And now we have the total price and the taxes, of course. So when we go back to view the estimate screen here, we can see that we have three options. Well. Katrina, which option is the customer most likely to buy? Mm, well, let's hope for that impact, but maybe the designer. Yeah. You know, typically you give three options to try to drive them towards that preferred option, that best ideal recommendation that you're providing to your customer. Whichever one you select here is the one that is going to show up on some of the documents that we'll generate. But for right now, let's just jump back to the home screen here. That's really all that you need to do to create those estimate options here within RoofSnap.